Good morning, Blood League! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Super Blood Hockey Franchise Mode. Yes, we are back here again to continue the career of Taro Sujimoto and the North Korea Ninjas. Last episode, we capped off the Ninjas' first year in the league by making a deep run in the Blood League playoffs, which concluded in us beating the Supreme Pinworms in the playoff final to clinch the Blood League Playoff Championship. Better still, we continued our undefeated streak into the postseason to finish the year with a perfect 16-0 record. Not bad for a first-year expansion team, eh? The Vegas Golden Knights eat your heart out. But anyway, at the end of last episode, I asked you guys if you wanted me to continue this series into a second season. And considering the majority of responses I got from you guys said that you wanted me to continue, it was only right to keep this thing going. Plus, when this video goes out, I'll be out in Canada working over the summer. So getting these types of videos recorded and edited ahead of time is a lot easier for me than some of the other content I create. So thanks for that, guys. I really do appreciate it. But regardless of that, let's begin our second season in the Blood League, shall we? According to our calendar, we have the first day of the month off, but then we have two games in two days. So if we play those two games in this first episode and hopefully pick up a couple of wins, we'll start this season off pretty well, I think. But one thing I would like to do, considering we have like $20,000 in the bank, is pay the rent on the first day. The rent's only a thousand bucks. May as well pay it off now, right guys? Boom. Rent is paid. Thank you very much. Winnings from last year. So let's find these players. Oh, they're all asleep. Isn't that cute? Now get up. You've got some work to do. Um, so Seong Yong Sin, if you could go and improve your power, that would be great. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, Young Yong Sa, you haven't got much brain damage. You can go and improve your power as well. That would be great. Thank you very much, buddy. Uh, Minji Seo, you are our goaltender, so you can go and train your skating because it doesn't matter which one we give you. Um, Young Su Sim, I would like... Oh, you're injured. Okay, so we'll... Let you recover from your injuries, because that's still from last season, isn't it? Uh, Seung Yong Mi, if you would like to go and get rid of some of your brain damage by recovering injuries and hitting the showers. And Seo Yun Bark, if you would like to go and recover from some of your injuries as well, that would be great. Uh, let's just double check the diets from last year. So everybody's gaining weight. Um, Sim's on Amiga diets, he's losing weight. I kind of feel like I want to mix things up a little bit this time and maybe just have all of them be really fat. Maybe we should do something like that. I did mention that in like one of the first episodes, having a lineup full of fat players. I think we should do that. Let's stick everybody on the feasting diet and see how they do. That could be our little challenge for this year. See how if we have a lineup full of overweight players, can we still win the Blood League? Oh, this is going to be fun. Sim, uh, we want to adjust your diet to the feasting diet. Me, I want to adjust your diet to the feasting diet. Bark, you're going to get lots of food too, bud. You've already got loads of food because you were emaciated. Right, let's find the rest of them. Sin, adjust your diet. Feasting, you're going to gain a ton of weight, buddy. Sa, adjust your diet. Feasting diet, there's our little trophy from year one. Uh, Minji, CO, I want you to be an overweight goaltender. See how that works for us. And Sagong, finish you off with the feasting diet. Perfect. There you go. Everybody's on the feasting diet everybody is gaining weight. The only person this is really going to benefit is Seo Yun Bak, but I want a group of overweight North Koreans. They'll do their supreme leader proud. So now that we have overfed our entire North Korea roster, we have our game tomorrow. We may as well go to sleep now, fellas. We've got enough money to be able to pay for this excess food. So I'll see you in the morning, boys, for game one of season two. Good morning, Blood League! So, day two of season two is upon us. We have a fat group of North Koreans coming on their way for game one of our second season in the league. Oh, let's find out who we're playing against. The North Korea Ninjas are going up against the Mellow Plungers from Canada. Oh, we get to go up against some polite North Americans for our first game of the season. Oh, great. 
We are 63 overall, but one of our members of the Dream Team is down with an injury. So when we replace him, we'll see if our overall goes up or down that much. And the Mellow Plunger's overall is 69. <laughs> 69, <laughs> funny. And the prize money is $2,969. We've played teams that have better overalls than us pretty much all of our first season, so I'm sure it won't be that bad. Despite Myung Su Sim being down with an injury, we can still keep the Dream Team together for the most part. So if we have Buck at centre, we have Sar at the rear, we'll have Sin on the wing with me, then we'll have Seo in the crease. I mean, we've got three players there that are almost 80 overall, so I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. Me's a little bit weaker because he's kind of been slotted in as an extra forward, but I think he'll be okay. He showed us he still had it in the playoff final last season, and CO 65 overall. He knows how to stop the puck when he wants to, you know. Let's do this, boys. So, game one of season two, the North Korea Ninjas against the Canadian Mellow Plungers. We have better skating, power, brawling, brain damage, and overall, and they have better accuracy, robustness, and experience. Almost double the amount of experience to us, and we're 70 overall, even with me and CO in the lineup, so we're looking pretty good, fellas. And win that face-off. Good opening face-off of season two, and we win it. Pass over to you and Seung Yong Mi. Four seconds into the game, and we have our first goal of season two. Oh, that's a way to start a game, innit, fellas? All round the net, over to you. Oh, an attempt there, but all three players were behind the net. Not the best idea, not the best place to be. Over to you. Oh, what a goal by Seo Yun Bak. Sin with his second assist of the season already. And less than 20 seconds in, we've got the insurance marker lead. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see if this season's going to be a lot more difficult than the last one. That was a great chance. Me, find some space. He's, he's surrounded by two different Canadians. There is no chance there. Find that cross crease. Oh, good save by the goalie, though. Oh, individual effort. Here he goes. Oh, chance by me. Good pass. Is the goaltender going to get it? No, he's not. But he's going to hit everyone away that tries to get it. Bark, get him, get him. Get Gitch, no, 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 good, well played, no, no, and Kristoff Gitch from Luca Hooped, and the Canadians managed to cut the lead in half, CO, I wanted a shutout here in game one, but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you off with it, you know, you played pretty well last season, right, where do I put that, to Saar, oh, individual effort right out in front of the net, had all the time in the world, and he still couldn't do it, god damn it, hey, Hooped, give it here, Give it in. Oh! And Louis or Luik Moose from Justin Rago or Rag Out. God, that was close. And the game is tied. 24 seconds left in the first. God, I can tell there is a bit of a difficulty spike here, fellas. Oh, good chance there. Thought I'd give it a chance. I want to try more individual plays here. Oh, and Myong Yong Sa. First goal of the season for him. Sin has three assists on the game already. And at the end of the first period, a 3-2 lead for the North Korea Ninjas. Yeah, the Canadians are getting some great chances on there. Oh, the referee gets hit by the Zamboni. Be careful there, buddy. But yeah, other than that, we played a pretty decent period. We had some good chance offensively, good cross-crease goals. We wanted to try some more individual goal attempts, which we were close on a few of them, but not quite there yet, fellas. Second period of our first game of season two, and we win that face-off again. Oh, that was a really bad pass, though. All the players round the net. Ah, oh, I thought I might be able to avoid that one, but no dice. Careful. Individual effort. Oh, Sin tries that play. Sar's got it. Oh, and Myung Young Sar. Second goal of the game for him. Doesn't even try the cross crease. Just goes straight to the goal, picks his spot, and we're up by two again. Oh, Sar, look at that move. Oh, and Myung Young Sar puts the goal in. His hat trick goal of the game. Off the goaltender's back and into the goal. Good pass to Bark. More individual efforts required. Another chance and Seo Yun Bark. Second goal of the game for him. Well played, son. More individual efforts here. God, you can score cross crease. You can score just going straight to the net. I think I found my way to win this game. Good play to Saar. Over to you. Oh, and it bounces in the goal again. Myung Yong Saar, the defenseman. His fourth goal of the game. Oh, my Lord, we found the cheat code in this now, haven't we, fellas? I want to fight these Canadians. Let's go. Let's drop the gloves, boys. You don't stand a chance. I've got an army of fat North Koreans here. What are you going to do about it? Kill me? No, I don't think so. 
Good job to Saar. He's rocking and rolling today already. Over to you. Oh, a good chance by Sin. Well played, bud. Oh, Bark's got space. Spa oh, he tries that shot. Another shot attempt, but it's blocked by one of the Canadians. And at the end of the second period, a 7-2 lead for the Ninjas. And Sin gets hit by the Zamboni twice. Oh, buddy, you're going to hurt after this game, aren't you? The final period of our first game of Season 2. And we lose that face-off. Well played, Canadians. Right, now I want to drop the gloves with you boys. Let's drop the gloves. Let's get a fight going. I'm just going to spam the punch button. Let's see how that goes. Right, dump that puck in. I don't really care about this anymore. I just want to hit you all. I don't want any more goal scoring. I want to kill someone. Here we go. I ask and I receive. Kill them. Kill them. One on three. Oh my god, it's one on one now. Well played to the playmaker. I'm getting hit on this. I don't like the look of this. There you go, Buck. And Luik Moose suffered a minor injury, a partially tender groin. Oh, you're not going to be able to make your significant other happy for the next few days, are you, buddy? Can we get another fight going? I want to kill one of them. Why not? Let's do it. Let's fight. Right, shot attempt. Okay, that was a bad pass. It was... Oh, here's another fight. God, that was quick, wasn't it? I think one of their other players got back up just for it. Get the fight win, boys. Good hits. How are you still up? How are you still up? I've got a fat North Koreans. Oh my God, what a bunch of hits by Bark. He is unstoppable. And no injury coming from that fight. We're now four on two. Let's just deal with them, boys. Why not? Show the Blood League that we are going to destroy them in every way possible this season. Get some hits. Come on, keep hitting them. You've hit Moose twice. Here's another fight. Oh, I'm loving the violence in this one, boys. Oh, just punching through them. It's one on two. Oh, Bark's the last man standing again. Oh, and he goes down and Bark does not look very good. And Seo Yun Bark suffered a disabling injury. No, a catastrophically impaired funny bone. Oh, he's not going to be joking about this game, is he, ladies and gents? Oh, the first real injury for the North Korean ninjas. We never received a disabling injury over the entirety of our first season in the league. We get two solid fight wins by Seoyun Bark, but now he's going to have to take some time out of the lineup. A catastrophically impaired funny bone. You poor guy. With 37 seconds left in this game, Bark, do you want to get out the face-off dot, mate? You're kind of making it a bit difficult for us. Once again, my players are dropping like flies in these fights. Seoyun Bark seems to be the only one that's getting the job done. It might be due to... Oh, and Louis Moose, or Luik Moose. Second goal of the game for him. Justin Ragout, or Rago, his second assist. Doesn't matter, we're still up by four. I mean, I'm kind of glad that we're actually facing adversity at points here. That was a close shot, though. Because otherwise, it would have just been an easy, uh, easy season for us. I don't really want easy seasons. Like, we've already had an undefeated season. Like, let's see what the second season has to bring, you know? And the North Korean Ninjas take a 7-3 victory over the Canadian Mellow Plungers. That's the way to start your second season in the Blood League, fellas. Unfortunately, Seo Yun Bark, our franchise guy, goes down with a disabling injury. We'll do everything we can to look after him and get him back on the ice in no time. But other than that, we played really, really well. Won two brawls, almost won a third one. Bark took the fighting on his shoulders and decided to punch them all out like crazy. But we got the win. That's all that matters, fellas. Looking at the stats, we absolutely dominated the face-off circle. Shots, shot percentage, passes, checks, knockdowns. Brawls, we managed to get 2-1. to one, And goalie saves, 25-13 to 13 for them. Goalie save percentage, favouring us only slightly, though. And the violence rating of brutal, 404. So we got ourselves almost another half a grand, which isn't too bad. But we've got a player with a disabling injury. Our first sign of real adversity here in the Super Blood League. Let's see how it goes. Seo Yun Bark, 10 days to heal. He is 27 overall at the moment. The fact that Seo Yun Bark is better than some of the players available on the Prisoner catalogue, even though he's got a disabling injury, is kind of funny to me, I'm not going to lie. I'm sure when he recovers from his injury, he'll be like 79, 80 overall, which is great. Myung Yong Sa, he is now 83 overall, with 5 points on the night, 4 goals on 16 shots. 
Our defenseman is doing a fantastic job in the league. He's a veteran of the Blood League and only mild brain damage, so he's doing great for himself. Seong Yong Sin, he is now 81 overall, which is really good. Three assists on the night, 43 knockdowns as well, well played. Seung Yong Mi, he manages 53 overall, which is impressive. He gets a goal on the game from eight shots. But he played a pretty decent game for us. And then Minji Seo, he manages to get plus 0.5 overall. 13 saves and three misses. But we get over $3,000 in winnings there. I'm not going to complain. So let's check the infirmary. Let's see how he's doing. There you are, buddy. Seo Yun Bark. How you been, bud? So injury, catastrophically impaired, funny bone, 10 days left to heal, and $21 of medical costs per day. So I assume this we could turn him off. I don't want to pull the plug on Seo Yun Bark. This guy's like a brother to me. He's our franchise guy. Seo Yun Bark, you get better soon, buddy. We'll be anxiously waiting your return. You're going to be out for basically a third of the season, but it's okay, buddy. You've got this. Let's give these players something to do, and then we'll move on to the next day. So, Sin, if you could improve your power, that would be great. You go and do that. I'm pretty sure everybody else has got something to do, don't they? These two guys are just looking at each other in the shower. I mean, if that's what you guys are into, by all means, don't let me stop you. Let's just check the gym. Oh, we've got a couple of guys moving about. Minji, CO, you can improve whatever stat you want, really. So, train your power, please, CO. There's our trophy. Look at it. First place season one. And if we take a look at the stats, we're not doing too badly for ourselves. Wow, Bark is absolutely leading these stats at the moment. 35 goals and 24 assists. He's on almost 60 points in what? 18 games? 17 games? Damn, son. And then second place is Sin with 56 points. 56 points, not too bad. Bark has won 14 brawls, Saar has won 16 brawls, and Minji Co he has a, a career save percentage of 87%. Tomorrow we have game two of the season, I think we'll be able to continue on from there folks, so good night. Good morning, Blood League! So day three of season two, we have our second game of the season coming up right now, let's see who we're up against. The North Korea Ninjas are facing off against... The Tense Fiddles from Finland. Oh, this is going to be a difficult game, ladies and gentlemen. We have a very depleted roster at the moment. What with Seo Yun Bark being out for the next nine days in the infirmary and one of our wingers being out for at least one more day with his injury. I think we have enough players to ice a complete roster, so we should be okay. But wow, they are 73 overall. We're 57 at the moment. If we put in our lineup, I imagine us to be early to mid 60s so this is going to be really difficult but 2813 prize money if we win this game come on north korea ninjas this is our first real adversity of this entire series let's get it going boys i believe in you instead of having buck at the center let's go for kyung ho Gong in the center position we will have Sa at the rear, Sin on the wing with me, and then Co in the crease. This is kind of the backup lineup we've got going on here. I mean, we've got two players above 80 overall, so that really helps us. The two sort of weaker players are both at least over 50 overall, so that helps. And Co locking down the fort with his 66 overall in the crease. We should be okay in this game. If we get into any fights, we might have a bit of a trouble trying to keep everyone alive. But this fat old North Korean lineup should be okay. Here we are, the second game of the season. The Ninjas against the Tense Fiddles. So they have better skating, accuracy, robustness, experience and overall. But we have better power, brawling and brain damage. We're 67 overall so that's not as bad as I thought it would be. This should be a pretty even matchup considering the circumstances. But let's see how it goes. And win that face-off. Well done, Sagong. You haven't been in the lineup for ages and you get the face-off win. Saar just moves straight through the zone. Nice little spin play. Oh, and he shoots the puck wide. God, that was a decent start for Saar though, wasn't it? Me's got the puck. Me's got the puck. Oh, and I think I hit the referee. I think the referee blocked that shot for them. Well, aren't you lucky, tense fiddles? Over to you. And I hit the post. God damn it, ninjas. Oh, and there's a fight already. Oh, me jumps in and gets immediately knocked down. That's a great start. Oh, it's one on two. It's one on two. Come here, Enforcer. Lovely play by Sin to knock him out. 
and Rupuoli suffered a minor injury, a noticeably hurt quadricep. Oh, is your quadricep hurting, Huoli? Oh, get up off the ice and stop being a baby. Only 30 seconds into this game and we've had our first fight. Oh, if that's a sign of things to come, folks, I'm not too sure this is going to be a good one for us. We can only win so many line brawls, fellas. Mee's got the puck. Oh, he takes that straight to the net. We know that we can score one-on-one -on -one if we have to. Oh, and Mee takes another shot. Well played, boys. Okay, careful. Oh, careful. Okay, I don't know where that puck was going. I don't know where there was the pass. Rioli's got back up. He's decided to get over himself. Oh, there's another fight. Goalie, you didn't have to hit all my players like that. Oh, there's a big line brawl going on here. And what a fight by Saar. The defenseman gets the job done. Sin's got the puck. Well played, buddy. Over to you. Oh, there was a decent chance there. But we just shoot it wide again. Me's got it. Where's the cross crease? Oh, we get the chance there, but nothing happening. Me's got it. Me's got it. Shot. Oh, saved there by the goaltender. And there's another fight. Oh my god, when will they stop? And no, I think Me's dead. Me, no. And Sung Yong Me suffered a fatal injury, a catastrophically maimed intestines. Oh my god, Sung Yong Me, I'm so sorry, buddy. And he has made the ultimate sacrifice, the first player on the North Korea Ninjas to fight for his life and sacrifice it for the Ninjas team. I will never forget what you did in that last year's playoff finals, scoring that hat trick and leading us to victory. But rest in peace, brother. You fought well, but not well enough. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the tables have turned. I'm not sure if me feeding my players a huge amount of food might have something to do with it, but I don't know. And at the end of the first period, no score between the Ninjas and the Finnish team. If we win this game, that would be great. But at what cost, ladies and gentlemen? At what cost? Second period of game two of the season. Oh, this is not looking good, fellas. Slapshot attempt to cow was never going to happen. Good try, though. Good hit by Sagong. Over to you. Sin gets the chance. Another chance for Sin there, but nothing happening. Come on, boys. Let's not let them win this. No. Oh, and Sampo Hisi from Yuha Rumis. The first goal of the game, and the Finnish team are up by one. Oh, it's not very often that we have the deficit in this game. Good job, Sagong. Well done. Over to you. Nice pass to Saar. Saar's got it. Shot. Oh, and Myung Yong Saar. The spinner armor move right in front of the goalie. And we've tied the game. We're a player down, but that doesn't matter, folks. We're going to win this game. Come on, get this puck out. Good man to Sagong. Sagong's got it. The shot attempt, a nice save by the goaltender. Saar's got it. Over to you. Oh, and that hits the post. We could have taken the lead off a goal by Sin. Shot attempt, no worries. Over to you. Okay, the referee gets in the way. Referee, you've been doing a fantastic job of helping the opposing team so far this season. Stop it! And at the end of the second period, a 1-1 tie between the Ninjas and the Finnish team. Won't somebody please get him off the ice? Take him back to his family. He deserves that much. He's a hero! The final period of game two of the season. Can we get this victory despite being one player down for a large percentage of the game? Let's find out. Over to you. Oh, and a goal by Seung Yong Sin. First goal of the game for him and Sagong with the assist. Well played, fellas. That's exactly what we needed, boys. Over to Sagong. Lovely play. Over to you. And that's an easy goal for Sin. Second goal of the game for him. Sagong with his second assist. And the Ninjas have got the insurance marker lead. You may kill one of our players, but we'll destroy you on the score sheet. We've got the space down the wing. Got the space down the wing, and that's an easy goal for Sagong. If you're going to leave my players that open, Finnish team, you're going to get what's coming to you. This is for me. Not me, the, the player me. This game's for him. Good job, Saar. You've got the puck over to Sagong. Lovely play. He's got some space. Oh, tries to whack that in on the sharp angle. But Sagong's got it. Oh, good cross-crease attempt there, but the goalie stands tall. He's had enough of them already in this game, isn't he? If we need to get another fight, we will, but we've got to make sure we win it. <laughs> I don't want to lose another fight. I don't want another player dying on my watch. Oh, it's a 4 on 0 here. That's not a good idea. No, good hits. There you go. Oh, and I hit one of my players with the pass. Hit them, fellas. Nice hits, boys. 
Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There's another fight, boys. We have to win this for me. Do it for him. Do it for him. And there you go. Why won't one of you die? And Sampo Hisi suffered a disabling injury, a moderately sprained heart. Ooh, how do you sprain your heart? That sounds bloody painful, doesn't it? Jesus Christ. But I hope you've realised, Finnish team, if you take away one of my players, send him to Blood League Heaven, or, or in our case, probably Blood League Hell, you get what's coming to you. It's a three-on-three -three game for the rest of the period. Sar's got a chance. Good attempt there. Good chance. Hit them down, Sin. Get dominant. I like it. Over to you, Kaz. Bad pass. Sagong's got it. Over to Sar and a good attempt there, boys. As the final buzzer sounds, the North Korea Ninjas take a 4-1 victory over the Finns. Oh, that was a really back and forth game there, fellas. We faced adversity in that one. We lost a very close player to us, but it doesn't matter, folks. We got the victory. We remain undefeated this season, undefeated in the series, but in the last two games, we've had a player sent to the hospital and a player that's died. So we might need to kind of change up our strategy a little bit. Let's see how it goes for the rest of the season, eh, lads? The stats show that we very clearly dominated this game by face-offs. Shots were pretty equal, to be fair. Shot percentage favoured us. Passes favoured us only just. Checks, we pretty much doubled them up. Knockdowns, we did far better. Brawls, we won 3-1, to one, but we only gave out a minor injury and a disabling injury. That's not quite the same as killing one of them. Their goalie only made two more saves than ours, and the save percentage was better for us. The violence rating of Vicious. Ooh, 684 bucks for us in that game as a bonus. Not too bad, but I wish me was back. I'd give all the money in the world to bring me back. Kyung Ho Sagong is now 54 overall, so we're going to have to rely on him quite a lot over the next week. So it's good that he's getting more overall points. Well done, bud. Myung Young Sa, he is now 86 overall. Jesus, you never stop growing as a great player, do you, bud? Only one goal on the game. He got one brawl victory. 65 knockdowns, though, so well played. Then Syung Yong Sin, he is now 85 overall as well. So my playmaker and my defenseman getting the job done. Well played. Syung Yong Mi, or Sung Yong Mi, however you want to call him. Minus 360 overall. Thank you, Sung Yong Mi. Thank you for everything you've done for our franchise. Now go rest in peace, brother. You did a good job. And last but not least, Min GCO. You know, you've got to just move on, don't you guys? 2.2 overall for him uh, as a bonus for making 18 saves. And we got over $3,500 in that game. So we did pretty well for ourselves, eh, lads? Considering one of our players just died, I think the best thing to do is to check the prisoner catalogue and pick ourselves up another sniper. You know, considering our other sniper is going to come back from an injury tomorrow, it's not a big deal, but I'd like to have a backup player just in case we go into next game and somebody dies, you know. I mean, judging by last game, it could very well happen now, folks. So let's check the prisoner catalogue. The first sniper on the list is a 38 overall sniper. Let's just have a quick look through the catalogue and see who we want. Having looked through the entire 100 player catalogue, there are two different players that catch my eye. The first one is Byung Woo Mubon, who is 38 overall, but he has really weak skating and a decent amount of brain damage. And the other one is Dae Hyun Dung. Dyung Dung, I don't know. He's 37 overall, his skating isn't that good, but he's got a lot less brain damage, and he's more of a seasoned player in the Blood League. Looking at his stats, he's healed himself from a viciously stinging testicle, ow, and a rather bent trachea, so at least he's healed from them, but he's currently serving 10 years for failure to report a crime and offending a superior. You know, I think we may as well go for Dung here, or Dyung. I, I think he's better. He might be one less overall, but he's got less brain damage, a lot more experience, and he's got decent stats except for his skating. So, you know what? Dae Hyun Dung, you are joining the team. Welcome to the North Korea Ninjas, buddy. Where are you, bud? There you are. Look at that handlebar mustache. So let's take a look at you. Let's go and add to some of your power, please, bud. There you go. The Deathlog has its first victim. Number seven, 
Sung Yong Mi. He was a fantastic player for us when we needed him. He was brilliant in the playoffs for us last year. But now, he's with the devil downstairs. Oh, I almost forgot. Come here, Dung. Here, adjust your diet. You're having a lot of food, bud. There you go. Eat up like the rest of them. God, he would have been the only skinny guy surrounded by a bunch of fatties if I didn't do that. Nice job, me. Right, I think we should go and break the news to the drug dealer. Hey, buddy. How you been? There he is. There's his corpse. Oh, no. And now the drug dealer has to stand next to him for the rest of the season. I'm so sorry, drug dealer. Did you want to talk about it? You're feeling a little bit bad about it. No, you just want to sell me some bulkers. Do you have any shame, drug dealer? I'm trying to make you feel better. I'm trying to make you sympathise or let you express your feelings about having to stand next to a corpse all season. But no, your eyes on business. It's always on business. That's why our relationship never worked. Stop selling me drugs, drug dealer. We're through. It's over. I tried to be sympathetic to you and compassionate. But no, even when there's a corpse next to you, the corpse is more living than you are. Go away. <laughs> so now that we have played our second game of the season, we have two days off before the third game. So I think if we end this episode by going through those two days in between, just getting all of that stuff out the way, getting them some training, healing up some of our players, then we can come back next episode for game three of the season. Does that sound like a good idea to you guys? Good, because I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> Good morning, Blood League. So, day four in charge. Hey, what are you doing, Sagong? Get out of my office. Get out. Slams the door. Get out of my office. I'm talking to the viewers. So, day four in charge of the North Korean ninjas in season two. We have two days before our next game. Let's give these guys something to do. CO, are you trying to come into my office? Or are you waiting outside because the door was closed? That's very professional of you. Thank you. Right, you can go and train your power. Uh, Sagong, if you can go and train your power as well, that would be great. Uh, who we got over here? De Young or Dung. I really don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm just going to change it every single time, probably. If you go and improve your skating, because your skating's 21, which isn't very good at all. Uh, Sim, I think you've recovered from your injury now, bud, haven't you? Uh, if you go want to go and improve your power as well. I'm not sure we have enough weights there, but, you know... Saar, you are pretty impressive. You go and improve your skating. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Who else we got? Sin, did I give you something to do, Sin? I probably did, didn't I? Um, wow, 96 skating, 92 power, and 91 brawling. Right, you go and recover from your injuries, mate. You're pretty much the perfect player already. So that's pretty much everything done again. But let's take a quick look at the standings. We are tied for first place in the league with the Royal Mittens and the Quick Flavors. 2 and 0 oh on the season. The aloof fingers, the profuse clomps, and the uptight turnips are all 0 and 2, and all the other teams are 1 and 1. So we're doing pretty well so far this season. We've got a good start. We've got $27,000 in the bank. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to spend all that money on. If any of you guys know, do let me know in the comments below. Like, I've got $27,000 and nothing really to spend it on, so do let me know. But anyway, for now, let's go to sleep. And for the last time this episode, good morning, Blood League. So, day five in charge of season two. Let's give them all their jobs to do. Uh, so, Sagong, if you want to go and improve your skating, let's get that up to 60. Why not? Uh, Sa, you are pretty much perfect. Let's improve your skating just a little bit. Get that up to 90. Get out of my office, Sagong. What have I told you? Get out of my office. Hey, Get lost, get out of my office, Sagong, or I'll get you fired. I'll pull the plug on you if you ever get injured. Yeah, that's right, I mean it. Right, CO, if you want to go and um, improve your brawling. Uh, De Young or Dung, if you want to go and improve your power, no, your skating, go and improve your skating. That's pretty much enough from us for now. The rest of them can pretty much do the same jobs. So let's take a look at the weight chart. Everybody's gaining weight, and I love it. So Sim and De Young are both overweight at the moment. That's what I like to see. Everybody else is at a healthy weight, but we're going to keep them eating food. $280 per day on food costs, which, I mean, isn't a huge amount for us. We're talking, what, just over $1,000 a day on food? And we, we pretty much win every single game, so we have a ton of money, so I'm not really going to complain. That's pretty much the day done, fellas. Now that we have played up until game three of our second season in the Blood League, 
I think this is a really good place to end today's video. What do you guys think about this Super Blood Hockey series? Are you guys enjoying it and like me going into the second season, or do you think I need to do something to mix it up a little bit, or there's something really obvious that I've missed so far playing this game? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye! A big thank you to Andy, Cameron J, Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Dave, Martin Tolness, Matt DeWild, Max Artis, Nat Marlowe, Paul Malia, The Crazy Yankee, and The Legacy, as well as a huge thank you to Cam Montgomery for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further, and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.